semi-detached homes in July of 58. At that time, it was already a cottage here, which was a shul. It was the only shul in the area, and obviously it's one of the reasons we moved in. Uh, I, I, that, uh, we, uh, the, the, there was a cousin in the name of, of uh, Berger, Cantor Berger. Berger. Rufa. Yeah, he was a roofer. He was a good tanner, but he was a good roofer. Right, right. And, uh, the, and when originally, when we moved in, there was no rabbi. They eventually, well, wasn't that eventually, shortly after we moved in, they hired uh, Rabbi Leibowitz. Right. And uh, I remember some of the things about the, the, the school. They used to, the services the rabbi would generally, many times, he would have. A, a child, generally, a, sometimes a, a young girl would stand up in the women's section, not far from the rabbi's uh, seat up there, and she would recite Ashrei. 
I did that many mm -hmm. times. <laughs> For like 15 years was Amy Fecker. <laughs> and I did it before her. <laughs> at, the, at, the, at the microphone, the other, the other, side. The other right. few things I remember is, is the school <laughs> used to put on a play at least mm -hmm. once a year that was there. Dinner theater. Yeah. Dinner, Dinner theater, show. right. And, yeah. uh, I, I don't right. remember. I know there was a lot of the uh, members of the show who were <laughs> active in it. They, every year they would come back and they would uh, have a uh, an acting or a singing role. Women sang, right? Hmm? Women sang? Yes, yes. We were called the singing show, right? <laughs> no, I meant them during the plays. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, the women did sing during the plays. Okay. Jerry Hightower. Uh, yeah, Jerry Hightower was, was the uh, coordinator, the director, whatever uh, you want to call her. For it. And uh, uh, I, I, I see if I can think of any more things at the time being. Uh, we pass it on to someone else, and I'll see what else I can remember, and they can, which they can remind me of. <laughs> Frank Schuster. Uh, <coughs> I was uh, looking for a place to uh, live in an Orthodox shul where I could walk, and uh, Sue was my uh, uh, scout. Yeah, she was my scout. She went with a real estate agent all over looking. She called me. I was at Hopkins at the time uh, as a fellowship. She says, "Honey, I think I found the place. It's only a block away. They just built the shul a year or two earlier." And uh, I think you'll like it. I said, are men and women separated? She said, yes. <laughs> and I said, so who's the rabbi? And she says, Rabbi Leibowitz. And I said, I'd heard of him, but I didn't know him. But if you like it and you think it, it has all the accoutrements that I wanted, then go ahead and buy it. <laughs> she bought the house, and, and uh, I came and signed it. And we moved here in, in 1962. 1962. 1962. Uh, I should have been two years old then. It just been built, I think. <laughs> and uh, the Rabbi, Rabbi Leibowitz came over. We had Hanukkah Tobias in my house. He had a wonderful little celebration there. Leon probably remembers it. Uh, and uh, then after that, uh, we of course became very attached to Rabbi Leibowitz, and he performed the weddings of all of all my kids, the bar mitzvahs. Uh, he, uh, my son Paul, became very attached to him, and Paul uh, used to have a private lessons with him uh, on Shabbos down in the, in the uh, that time the basement, and uh, people liked that session so much with Rabbi Leibowitz because he was so well learned, it, and. Uh, they all started coming in, so Paul lost his privacy with the, with the rabbi, but <laughs> it all worked out to do the best. And, uh, honey, can you think of anything else? Yeah, my wife. Okay. Will, so. uh, Sue Schuster, what we loved about Rabbi Leibowitz 